So, I got kind of a terracotta haul today um, when I was at the planty store and they were just giving away all these terracotta pots uh, just outside the store and I found this broken one too and I decided to make a fairy garden today. Now, I've never made a fairy garden before, but I think I'm going to use this couple kinds of mint that I've had because this shit's been growing on its own with minimal interaction. Um, it almost completely died a couple years ago and the, it just came back on its own and mint is very hardy. These are two different kinds of mint. This is um, spearmint and then this is I think peppermint. Hold on, let me... Mint and... Oh, Moroccan mint. This is the Moroccan mint. And then this is just spearmint. First, we're going to clear this out. I, th I don't think this is part of it, but no. It's not. I don't know. But we'll use it. And then here is that. So we're just going to clean this stuff out. Mint will grow in pretty much anything. Pardon the kitty tail. Phil is eaten. So. We're just going to throw a bunch of dirt here in the bottom. And we're going to go kind of right up to the edge there. Excuse me, Phil. And there's little pieces here and there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then this big piece, instead of like trying to fix the pot, because first of all, I don't have all the pieces when I pick this up. Um, I don't have all the pieces to this, so it. All we're going to do is make a mini pot inside the pot, if you see that there. And we're going to put more dirt. Just enough to form or to hold up the edge. Okay, so with that, those extra little pieces, we're essentially gonna make little fairy stairs. And then we're just, this is that extra like pot piece that was just in there randomly. We're just gonna break it up into random little pieces and take what we like out of it. Okay, so it's kind of hard to do with two hands, but basically we're just taking these little pieces and anything that is like a flat edge, like see this is a triangle piece, but that's okay because I can just stick that triangle edge in there. And we're essentially building what will become this little staircase. And you just pour more dirt in there. It helps if the dirt is kind of a not super wet, but also not really dry consistency. In fact, I think this could be a little bit more moist and it would be easier, but we'll get there eventually. Okay, so I did a little bit of tweaking with it, and I had hammered a little too hard. Some of them became really small, so I turned them into little cobblestones here at the bottom. And then they go up into the little fairy staircase over here. And then we could probably take out some of this dirt on the edge here, so it's a little bit more 
um, to scale. So I live in a forest and I have unlimited access to moss. It is everywhere. And this particular moss appears to like to grow on bark. So I am not going to actually remove it from the bark because it seems to be growing quite well. I do not know what kind of moss this is. It is growing everywhere though. And this is a bunch of redwood bark punks. And so um, this bark is pretty old. It kind of snaps pretty easily. And I'm just gonna cut chunks to size to kind of fit in between the steps here. So here's some of the moss that I'm laying down. And essentially it's pretty simple how I'm doing it. Find a piece and find somewhere that it fits. And here we are. I believe I'm happy with the steps. I'm happy with the size of the pot that we've created here. And I'm gonna move on to the next step where I plant the actual mint in there. So I made a spot in there for it and I'm just gonna plop it in there, get rid of this leaf. Um, these are the little, the little, I don't remember what they're called, but they just keep spreading. See, it got a little bit of animals eating, eating this. And all we're going to do is backfill as best as we can. It really doesn't matter if you, in this case, for this particular type of plant, um, if you kind of bury the, some of the leaves accidentally, it's not going to hurt mint. Mint is a survivor. Nothing will stop it. Trust me. Do not plant it in your main garden beds. It will spread everywhere. Okay, well, I think I'm done. I moved it to its permanent spot here, or semi-permanent because I move my plants all the time. You can see I got the little stairs, the little cobblestones here. Um, it's a little bit of a mess, I think, but you know what? I think it'll get better. And I have this new pot. and. This new pot that I got for free on the side of the road can live a new life and be, in my opinion, I think it's quite beautiful. So if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and have a good day.